The growing popularity of electronic dance music on island is no secret. From the pop mashups heard on the radio, to the influences in fashion and popular culture, this scene is slowly growing from its underground counterculture to mainstream airwaves with artists like Skrillex and David Guetta experiencing crossover success. Hipsters, ravers, partiers, clubbers, and music fans make up Guam's enthusiastic electronic dance music scene. With that in mind, Tropical Production Events and Promotions Manager Matt Scrove thought it was a great time to bring EDM to the forefront here on Guam. It was originally brought to me by um, Gia, Gia Wang and Andrew Hong, who uh, originate in L.A. Gia is actually from Guam. Um, he's been DJing on Guam for years, been DJing in L.A. He's actually one of the up-and-coming big DJs uh, throughout L.A. A lot of people know about him. And they have had this concept for years now, but have just, I guess, timing-wise or maybe now is the right time to do it, maybe because EDM, which stands for electronic dance music, is more mainstream. So I think now is the perfect time. Uh, I got introduced uh, to Gia through a mutual friend and just one email after another and we've been in constant communication for about eight months now and now it's finally coming time and we are extremely excited for uh, the first ever Electric Island Festival. Electronic dance music, or EDM, is a set of percussive electronic music genres. Contemporary EDM largely stems from production methods of disco and its more purely electronic descendants, house, techno, and trance. Styles which dominated the first wave of electronic dance music in the 1980s and 1990s. In an article from MTV, it states that EDM music is currently conquering America and the EDM craze in America is in full swing. The article continued to state that EDM is becoming much more mainstream. Most EDM listeners think of Miami, New York City, and Las Vegas as the EDM capitals of America. In Guam, like right now, the main genres are reggae, hip hop, uh, of course, island music. But I strongly feel that this genre of music has the potential to grow. Um, just because it's not, people don't think it's big now. It's been on Guam for decades. Like it's been on Guam for a long time. It, again, maybe it's just more well known now because it's mainstream. But guys like Ronnie Perez, Chris Berg, Andrew Mariana, Eric uh, Sue, all these different DJs, um, Lons even, all of them have really helped establish this for years. Um, but it's only becoming more relevant now because it's more mainstream and this is going to be the first event on a concert scale uh, that's really promoting this type of genre. The Electric Island Festival is an opportunity for everyone who appreciates music to come out and have fun. Now, leading up to the big events, Grove says there have been smaller events to give Islanders a taste of what is to come. It was very good. Um, actually, the last road to Electric Island, throughout the night, we had over 700 people. And, you know, a lot of people questioned if this event would bring more military or tourists, but there was over 500 locals here, and all of them were dancing. All of them were on their feet, jumping up. It, it's so much fun just because... This type of music is totally different from any concert you'll go to. Uh, we've had so many successful and big concerts on Guam, but nothing really compares to this type of event. It, yes, it's a concert and it's music and people are dancing, but the experience that you'll have at an EDM event or at an Electric Island Festival, especially to this magnitude, you can't compare it to any other type of event we've had on Guam. Just, it's hard to describe, but it's more of just what you experience at the event. He says it's how you feel, the emotions, and just being surrounded by people that are all about peace, love, and respect. It's all about just people getting together, never mind about work, never mind about family and problems. Let's just enjoy music and enjoy life. Let's just be happy together for this night. And he is hoping that the EIF becomes an annual event and has aspirations of it being bigger and better. The overall goal is that one day people from all around Asia and the Pacific will fly to Guam specifically for this event. Uh, we would like to host Electric Island festivals in different parts of Asia, but we want Guam to be the main hub. So if you want to go to like the grand finale Electric Island Festival in the year, it's going to be Guam and hopefully it brings more tourists, more military, um, even more locals come out. I know there's a a big strong following already in the states of people from Guam that are coming back for the summer that have already bought their tickets online. So uh, we're very excited and we ex anticipate a good turnout. Road to Electric Island 2 will take over the globe. Not only do we have some of the best DJs on island with uh, Eric Lons and, uh, and Andrew Mariano, but we are flying in back to Guam, DJ Stephanie Loiza and violinist Esther Anaya. Luiza and Anaya were on island not too long ago and were such a hit. What makes this duo interesting is uh, DJ Stephanie plays um, all EDM, um, techno, trance music, while Esther plays an electric violin to whatever she is playing. 
So it was, um, it was definitely an experience the last time they were here. A lot of people uh, really enjoyed their performance, and that's why we decided to bring them back, just because there was a, a strong demand to bring them back, and everyone wanted to see them, and we figured what better way to showcase their talent again than with the road to Electric Island. Road to Electric Island Part 2 goes down on Saturday, June 22nd at The Globe, 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. $10 cover includes one MGD, bottomless MGD from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., and you must be 18 to party and 21 to drink. Now consider it a way to prepare you for what is to come on Saturday, July 27th at the beach at Gun Beach in Tumon. Four international DJs from Los Angeles and Philippines with a perfect blend of current rising talents and industry veterans along with three local Guam artists who have been pushing electronic music on island for the past decade will electrify the crowd. This is a monumental event for the music entertainment scene on Guam and is one that should not be missed. If anyone wants to get tickets, they're available at tpiguam.com or electricislandfestival.com. Uh, we'll have um, physical outlets in uh, the next uh, two weeks. But for now, if you want to buy your tickets, I highly recommend buying them at, online right now because we've already sold out of early bird tickets and the super early bird tickets. So starting this weekend, we're going to release the regular tickets at a uh, normal pricing. But I mean, the, the early bird tickets sold out very fast. So I highly recommend everyone goes online and buys them today. And of course, an event of this magnitude could not be possible without the help of some great people. I'd like to give a special thanks to everyone at Tropical Productions, uh, 6 a.m. group as well, where uh, G and Andrew uh, work for. Um, another special thanks to The Globe and Beach Bar and their staff for just being awesome with um, everything. They've been accommodating us in every way possible. So a big thanks to them. Um, also our sponsors, Docomo Pacific, Miller Genuine Draft, Stoli Vodka, uh, Budget Rent-A-Car, and the stations of KUAM. For everything EIF, check out Electric Island Festival on Facebook and EI Festival on Instagram.